So he's ready to go to work pitching with an early lead and his first offering to Merrifield is taken outside ball one. Merrifield in a ball game usually they are plural. That one is outside two and oh the count. Three homers 32 RBI's and he served that one foul two and one. Fielder played in 547 consecutive games. So Merrifield very close to hitting that mark and it takes a strike to him for the Royals. And Gray's pitch this one hit down the line foul and Merrifield much more than he usually does. Everything is kind of in line. Well, he swings through this one a strikeout is how we start the bottom of the first good looking night that we had yesterday. We had a good, I thought we had a good crowd yesterday. And this one is served into left field base hit for Benintendi and once again he goes the other way. Your long balls in the opposite field gap. Certainly is a theory. It's ball one to Bobby Witt Jr. They don't let the line the line score fool you the amount of errors they had. <laughs> The kind of defense that they played. One one pitch. And he swings through strike two. With notably the Rangers. And the one two pitch, a swing and a miss. And Witt strikes out two away. Another of what will be five left handed bats in the lineup today for the Royals. One does it 225 for the year. Six homers, 17. And the strikeout rate doubles. It's amazing to me. You know, it's one thing to look at total numbers and the total of the bats. We, we'll look at some of those rate stats once in a while. Give it. I'm trying to make it three strikeouts in the inning. The 0 2. And that one fought off by Melendez. Nod of approval from Jonah Heim after that pitch. That was 90. Two strike pitch from Gray. And that bounces up to the plate. One and two the count we'll by it. So one two pitch and there's a swing and a miss and Melendez strikes out. John Gray strikes out the side. Twelve of them were strikes. So I don't go after Hunter Dozier. That's ball one. It's the first time Steven Duggar's been caught stealing since 2019. He was a perfect seven for seven. And a half. situation to figure out at first base as Dozier takes low here ball three the guy waiting on Gray's 3-1 and that looked good that is good strike two call Dozier at bat but he'll be a first baseman DH 3-2 and that is ball four so Dozier just does hold off and now pass Martina will be announced First pitch to him, and he bounces it. Right side, could be two. Seeger on the first, in time for the double play. Run in his life, his heart's beating 100 miles an hour. Yeah. He gets his first big league at bat. All the adrenaline in the world. Yeah, he, he may not have actually felt the, the you know, They understand over the years, all the development that's gone on here, their own players that they've developed, that this fan base really does. 2-0 pitch, and Michael A. Taylor takes ball three and it's just a part of his current run that he's got going he goes after the 3 0 pitch but comes a, a really good turn for the positive for him hitting 333 since coming off the I.L. full count now payoff pitch and a little chopper toward third base and that one gets underneath Smith's glove trying to scoop it quickly so he could make the throw but just And Isbell shoots that one foul. We saw Isbell last night last 20 at bats. As you remember last year Dave he made his big league debut against the Texas Rangers that crazy. Well he swings and misses here at strike three and that's the fourth strikeout tonight. The three were.
considered quality starts. He was one out away from making the third one a quality start. So he's been on a very nice run here lately, John Gray. That can only help as his pitch to Nicky Lopez runs a little bit tight. This Kansas City team, their struggles once they fall behind. I mean, look, when you're going through a tough game when they've trailed by three or more runs, they, they haven't done that. That's unbelievable. It's pretty astonishing, actually. Now, they did come back from three yesterday. Don't let that day it kind of falls apart, but it has not happened yet for the Royals, the only team in baseball. A soft liner into left field for Lopez. And he starts the third inning with a hit. Great. Pumps that one right in there for a strike. To dig in, and a lot of them are right in line with what he's done over the course of his career when it comes to contact, how often he's swinging, exit velocity. Struck out in the first inning. And Gray gets him to hit this one on the ground. That could be two. Simeon DeSeeger, one on to first. Not in time. Merrifield moves quickly down the line. And field plays him to pull the ball. Outfield plays him pretty much straight up, and that one is way off the plate, ball one. The team's content to continue to play him with that shift, and there's an obvious reason why. I mean, it, yeah. Gray's 2-0, and this one on the ground right side. Diving stops Simeon. The only play he'll have is at first. But a really nice defensive play by Simeon. And the double play was a, it was a double tap. Sorry, that was four taps for that one? Uh, one strike pitch and Witt sends this one out to left field. Miller coming on will take it on a hop. And Merrifield scores on the single by Bobby Witt Jr. It's been a struggle for him the last couple of weeks. And he takes inside. Foot was it unusual or you know it's either to the side or it's straight back. But you got to clear. Launched foul one and one. Yeah. One one. And that's strike two on Melendez. <laughs> this one fouled back. And Melendez stays alive one and two. So went out there at second. Infield is back. The one two pitch. And that is strike three called. Melendez down. For specials. On Friday and Saturday. Bottom of the fourth, John Gray working now with a six run lead. Been on a really nice run. His last three starts have been particularly strong. And swings like that tell you that John Gray has got a goal swing. That could just be selling out for the fastball and realizing too late that it was a slider. Dozier hits it on the ground and a snag out there by Simeon. He'll throw him out. One away and do a double play. And he takes outside here for a ball. He has good pain here. And the 1-0. Talking about this, this system and some of the history for the Kansas City Royals, you know, you have to be able to develop. We're drafted by this organization. That's incredible. Yeah. Well, yeah. The final, final. We'll lock it in. 2-1 pitch. There's a ground ball. Shortstop. And the play by Seeger in plenty of time to get past some players. And Gray, he gets a swing and a miss there from Mike here. Yeah, and that's another check swing. No, it was not. It's a strike. 0 oh and 2. Way there, 4 for 5 today with a home run, 2 doubles, and 6 RBIs. So that seems to be working as Taylor swings and misses. And Gray adds another strike. Freedom. And Gray has really looked good tonight. His pitch to Isbell he is on the outside corner for a strike. Loud and just one walk on four hits. Strike two. Very odd distribution of starts. There's a swing and a miss. His seventh strikeout tonight. And he had Isbell. In half and Sparkling 191 batting average against. Well, he gets Lopez to off his bell with a backdoor slider that fell in for a strike. And that one is low. 
One and one. Seeger and Simeon and a four year commitment to Gray. Count two and one. And the message was clear back to within a game of 500. Two one. And that's shanked over to the left side to him. Figuring he'd pitch even better outside of Coors. Three and two the count and he's just had to overcome a couple of little setbacks this year a bliss. But lately he's been back into a groove and his three two misses. Second walk he's issued tonight. Those aren't uh, subtle changes. Down to the 167 average that one fouled away. By Merrifield and everything comes with it. The on base is lower and it's also game planning. And then being able to execute the game plan. They know what's going on. They know what guys have seen. Jonah Himes done not one of those guys. It's one one to Merrifield and this one rolled on the ground third base. Smith will go to second for one on the first double play and that is over last season. That that is an enormous year for any team under any circumstance any year. slowly but surely all year. Benintendi takes outside 2 and 0. Oh. And as a Ranger fan, I think you really have to lull it, but never satisfied, right? There's still a ways to go. Too much job. Even though I wanted to hear more, I can appreciate the fact that he was kind of keeping it close to the best. This one bounced up the middle and through for Benintendi. And he has his second hit of the ball game. And so the Royals. Ritt had a single in the third inning, and that was the last roll to keep him in check. That one down in the dirt, one and one. That was in that second week of May when they came through town. Outside, two and one to between double and triple A. And he takes a strike here, it's two and two. Now, not just on the on the big club. Pieces that they have come deadline time. 2-2 two, two to win, and he spoils that one to keep it back going. Benintendi leading at first, not going. The 2-2, two, two. little chopper over the mound. Seeger is there, he has it. He touches the bag for one on to first in time. A double. No. <laughs> Either way. Melendez takes low for a ball. Yeah, Gray's enthusiasm is going now. 1-0. And another bouncer up the middle and a good play by Seeger to throw out Melendez and complete a scoreless sixth inning. The all red and blue that the youngster had. With the big red tee. Yeah. It up, that kid. Well, Gray's still working in the seventh inning. <laughs> Sounds like something out of a mob movie. <laughs> Strike two on Dozier. Look, if George Brett says that's his nickname, then. Oh, it's done. Then that's his nickname. Tino. One two pitch to Dozier, and that one is way off the plate. So one guy I thought might have been down today, <laughs> one of the guys I thought that might have been down today. But he just missed with a fastball. Full count now. The payoff and a swing and a miss. He gets Dozier. Un Jose Leclerc all with a full day off, and then Dennis Santana. We haven't seen him in a few days. This one lifted high in the air, center field, and an easy play for Duggar. So that's Quintino. Very quick at bat in the seventh inning. And will be the batter here with the infield back in a conventional alignment, and he takes one right down the middle for a strike. Just misses there, one and one. One one. And it's in the air. Right center field. Duggar gets to it. And that'll complete a one, two, three inning. <laughs>